Hello everyone. Welcome to another video. I will be giving you an overview of how you can tackle task 1 of the Deloitte STEM Virtual Internship Program. We are going to follow the following steps. Step 1, Understanding the Problem. We need to convert two different types of data formats into a unified format. The data represents information about a device and its status at a specific time and location. Step 2. Set up the environment. You'll need an account on replace.it, https colon slash slash replace.it. Step 3. Understanding data formats. We have two different data formats, data1.json and data2.json, and a unified format, dataresult.json. Step 4. Importing the necessary modules. Import the necessary libraries for working with JSON data, Unidist for testing, date time for handling timestamps. Step 5. Conversion process. Two functions are defined, convert from format 1 and convert from format 2, to convert JSON data from format 1 and format 2 to the unified format. Step 6. Main function. The main function checks whether the JSON data is in format 1 or format 2 and chooses the appropriate conversion function accordingly. Step 7. Test Cases Unit tests are defined using the Unitist framework to validate the correctness of the conversion functions and the overall solution. Step 8. Run Tests Finally, the Unitist.main call runs the defined test cases. Let us start with set 1. In this program, we are helping Daikobo Industrials, a company that makes heavy machinery, to combine and organize data from their machines. The machines send information in two different ways, and we want to make it all look the same. Now, from the Forage website you have been provided with all the details. Make sure you go through the details. Make sure to create a Replit account. Is that how we pronounce it or is it replace.it? Select this project. Then fork. Name your project. This is how it looks. Now we have several data files. They are in JSON format. We have data1, data2, and data results. You also been provided with Python file which is named main. This is where we will run and test our program. I will transfer this files into PyCharm editor. That is where I will explain it from. But remember you have to test your program here because you need to submit the URL link. Before we continue with the video, kindly do support me by hitting that subscribe button. Thank you in advance guys. I already transferred the files. Data format 1, data1.json. We have device ID, device type, Timestamp, in milliseconds. Location, country, city, area, factory, section. Operation status. Temperature. Data format 2, data2.json. We have. Device, device ID and device type. Timestamp, in ISO format. Country, city, area, factory, section. Status and Temperature Unified Format, DataResult.json We have Device ID Device Type Timestamp, in milliseconds Location, Country, City, Area, Factory, Section Status and Temperature In the main Python file, this is where we will write and run our program. Before we start, you can see that most of the work has already been done. We are supposed to write lines of code on conversion of the data formats. This is where our focus will be. The remaining part is easy. I will start by explaining to you guys what is happening. We will start by importing the necessary modules, otherwise termed as library.
JSON for working with JSON data, Unidist for testing, and date time for handling timestamps. It then opens three JSON files. data1.json, data2.json, and dataresult.json. The data from these files is loaded and stored in JSON data1, JSON data2, and JSON expected result variables. Here is the code. We will now start the conversion process by first defining conversion functions. Conversion functions, convert from format1 and convert from format2. We're taking data that might look different from different sources and making it look the same and tidy. Why? Different data sources might use different structures, but we want to make them consistent so we can use them more easily. Think of it as arranging a messy room into neat shelves. Remember, in Format 1, we're splitting the location field into its components and restructuring the data. Convert from Format 1, JSON object. This function takes a JSON object as input, representing data in the first format. A set of instructions for turning data in format 1 into a common format that's easier to manage. We look at the location of the data and split it into different parts using a forward slash as a separator. We create a new structure, dictionary, to store the converted data. We copy over important pieces of information from the original data, like device ID, device type, and timestamp. We take the different location parts we split earlier and organize them neatly into a subsection called location in our new structure. Similarly, we do the same for the data part, copying over status and temperature. Finally, we're done. We've converted the data from format 1 into our unified format. The result dictionary is returned, representing the converted data.
convert from format to JSON object. Here, we're following a similar idea as before, but with a different kind of data, format to. This function takes a JSON object as input, representing data in the second format. We're converting a special kind of time format, ISO timestamp, into a more understandable form, milliseconds since a specific date, but it converts the timestamp from the format June 23, 2021 t 10 hours 57 minutes and 17.783 seconds c to milliseconds since 1970. We're creating a new line of instructions for format 2 data, just like we did earlier. We're picking out the device ID, device type, and our newly converted timestamp and putting them in our new structure. We're handling the location part again, but this time, we're copying over country, city, and so on. The data part is a bit simpler here, we're just copying the whole data section as is. We've transformed format to data into our unified format. The result dictionary is returned, representing the converted data. I had prepared another code previously, but it is a little different from this one in terms of file importation. I am going to copy a section of the code we have just written so that I can test and rectify mistakes if any. I can see there are several. I will rectify the errors on both sides. Follow along.
done. In case you are wondering, with the trial Python file I can run the code on this editor but with the one I showed you, I cannot. Unless I load the file from a different place. File importation brings all the difference. Let me finish explaining then we copy the code in Replit and run it there. main conversion function main json object this function takes a json object as input and determines which conversion function to use based on the presence of the device field if the device field is not present it means the data is in the first format so it calls convert from format one if the device field is present it means the data is in the second format so it calls convert from format two the converted data is returned. Testing with Unitist. The code defines a test class called test solution that inherits from Unitist.testCase. It includes three test methods, test sanity, test data type 1, and test data type 2. Test sanity ensures that the conversion result matches the expected result. Test data type 1 tests the conversion from the first format using JSON data 1. Test data type 2 tests the conversion from the second format using JSON data 2. Running the tests. The code checks if the script is being run as the main program. If it is, it runs the tests using unitist.main, which verifies the correctness of the conversion functions. He line if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore is a conditional statement that checks whether the script is being run as the main program. If it is, the code block indented under this condition will be executed. Let us copy and run the code in Replit. done. See your output in the console. If you found this video helpful kindly do show me your support by subscribing. Get me to 200 subscribers. Thank you in advance.